guys welcome back to the channel this is asa speaks Zero studio all right it's another retouching tutorial in photoshop and today we'll focus more on frequency separation and post retouching steps okay so let's get started now we have this image and if i zoom in you can see the way the skin texture is rough and compare the skin texture of the body and that of the face um, the body is actually smoother than the face and also the color they have little slight different color you can see the body on is saturated a little white this is a little bit white and we have some you no know, red of course we know sh she's blushing yeah it's apparent that the red on the cheek means blushing okay and the lips is just too rough and the lipstick and all that okay so we're going to be correcting all those and also as a bonus tip i will tell you how to use the liquify tool to correct some tips the contour of our face so these are the things we're going to be doing in this tutorial so let's get started first of all i would like to duplicate the channel or i would like to duplicate the layer by eating ctrl j i'm going to turn it off and i'm going to focus on this one okay so now let's go ahead go to camera raw filter all right so here we are in camera raw filter first of all i would like to remove this highlight that is all over our face so this should be the slider for it i'm going to bring it down a little and bring the white also down a little so we can have more details on the face to remove that you know white that actually making the image look odd okay so now i'm going to bring up the blacks and the shadows okay to get more light on the shadows and also on the black and now i'm going to give it a little bit texture and just just one i want to do and i'm going to grab the white balance and let's see if we can correct the image a bit i'm going to hit ctrl z and do that with the second eyes and see what we have so i don't want the green i guess i'm going to leave it like this and we can go ahead and click ok to the image so there we go with the rem i removed this um light odd light okay so now i'm going to grab the hue and saturation adjustment and then i'm going to pick on the slider and pick on the face it's going to show this drop menu red and i'm going to increase the hue and let's see if we have color variation oh yes we do have color variation so this blue side aside are places that are less saturated they're the white side okay and if i turn it back on we have these are the yellows and these are the red okay so the 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 cheek here colors are in there so i'm going to increase the slider till i have the blues only so the selection of the blue side only so something like this and now i'm going to correct it so it's going to look like the body okay so make this zero back and then increase it till you have the same color and then you can increase the saturation as well so you have the same now you can see the difference between the two before and after the body is the same but i'm going to remove this from the lips i'm going to remove the effect from the lips by making a foreground color black so let's make it black by hitting this and then removing it from the lips like that and from the highs and from the highs okay so we got a uh, color looking equal now so before and then the after so once you do this now we can go ahead to do our frequency separation because at the end our frequency separation is not actually going to have different color variation okay but if you want to include the blushing back you can do that by just eating it just a little bit like this and like this so it's going to bring back the red and the black okay so i'm going to do this like this and now I can create the stem visible layer and do the frequency separation so this is how to do frequency separation ctrl j twice to duplicate the layer name the this one color and it enter so we're separating the color and the texture i'm going to name this one texture and it enter then group the two together so this is going to be our frequency separation group let's name it frequency separation and it enter i'm going to open it up turn up the texture layer select the color layer and then go to filter go to blur and gaussian blur now you are actually going to know the radius you're going to use and for you to get the actual radius i'm going to zoom in now you're going to go back go to filter blur 
Gaussian blood. The more you blow, the more texture you have. The higher you blow, the more texture you have. The lesser you blow, the lesser texture you have. Now you are gonna blow it till where you know when you are adjusting or blending with the color mixer, it's gonna take effect on time. So like this is gonna affect. So I'm gonna take it up. Still take it up. Something like six is too much. Then four point eight is too much as well. So I'm gonna take it to three point seven. And now I can have some little texture and little fade. So I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna hit OK. Now select the texture layer, turn it on, go to image, apply image, and you're gonna merge it under the merge. Sorry, under the layer, you're gonna remove from merge and you're gonna select the color. So you are separating the texture from the color. So the blending mode is not gonna be multiply, it's gonna be subtract. And now your scale is gonna be two of seven twenty eight. Once you have this type of image you know you are doing the right thing okay so it's okay on the yep and then change the blending mode to linear light and then you have your image back okay now select the color and select the mixer to brush by left clicking and select mixer to brush sorry i'm gonna select the round brush and now make the wet nine load just take these settings and make sure it's a clean brush don't select this one it's going to give you this black color they select that and select this one okay and then you can decrease the uh, the softness or hardness okay so now i'm going to start blending on the color layer so i'm going to reduce and i'm going to blend according to our skin just like this so just keep blending put left click and blend left click and blend your image don't blend like this you're going to affect the it's going to make the image look flat okay so i'm not doing anything but now i can blend like this so just follow the face contour of our face all right so i'm done with blending so you can see the blend one and two one and two okay so now i'm going to select the texture layer select the clone stamp two the clone stamp two is the first one here and this is how to use it you hold an art and you select a place you want to replace let's say i want to replace this small dot here i'm going to hold that alt and select a texture select a texture from here and then i'm going to go ahead and click to remove it so for all these i'm going to just select somewhere here and then drag just do something like that and you know remove those this line you can remove it by holding that alt and you know just drag okay so that's how to you know use the use that tool so i'm just going to replace some places that has something like this i'm going to replace and something like this i'm going to replace by you know bringing it back so don't drag if you turn on the align tool it's going to follow so if i sample here and i move around it's going to keep moving along with me but i don't like using it but you can turn it on to make your workflow faster so I'm just gonna do this quick and for the eyes I'm gonna do the same and you know just drag and drag like that okay let's say that's one and then this do this do this sorry I'm gonna do it again all right so now this 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 let's make it easy it's very easy it's non-destructive so you don't need to be very very careful about what you are doing you just need to you know make the image look great now for the lips okay so i'm just going to sample a, a smoother part i'm going to select this one and then go to the mixer brush and i'm going to paint it to make sure all look the same like that and also do for the lips as well and I can select this, hold an art, select an area, and then remove. Sorry, hold an art, select the make clone stamp to hold an art, and just you know, just do what you know how to do best. Okay, so something like that. I'm gonna reduce the size, hold an art, and you know, just remove all this bigger contour from the face from the lips rather okay so i'm gonna do for this one to remove this and 
the excess with wet leaves. I'm gonna do for this side, take this and this and this. All right, so I think it's looking great now. All right, so now you have it like this, okay? So you can actually do some enhancement by copying and pasting. So I'm gonna leave it like this for it now. And I notice something if I zoom in, I notice some places are less saturated on like somewhere like this. So I'm gonna oh, close the frequency separation, grab the U and saturation. And then I'm gonna select the select, go to color range. I have select where it has less saturation. So I'm going to select this place. And then we have all this. Okay, so increase the fuzziness. And it's okay. It's going to make a selection of that automatically. And let's zoom out. And then we can increase the saturation of this side. Just a bit, somewhere like 9 and 10 should do. So we have a before. So it just gives it a little bit saturation and those places that are less saturated like i said so after doing that i'm going to create a stand visible layer control shift and hit e and then we're going to go to filter go to liquify now under the liquify tool let's notice something right here now the lips is not balanced mean we need to take this side of the lips upward so it will be straight something like this and bring this outward and I can take the face feature and I can reduce the lips because we just adjusted that. And because the eyes and the, um, the, the eyes is tilted, I'm going to go ahead and grab this tool to make it big. And I'm going to dab once. So take a look at just dab once and it's going to shape in the head straight out. Okay. So we have a before. Let me preview it before and then after. So you just see the way to position the, the, the head straight. And then I'm going to grab the this tool and decrease the nose and the face and bring it closer to maintain the integrity of the image and bring this, let's say, a little bit down. Okay. Now we're done with that with the face feature. We can also shift the nose to the left like just a bit yes like that and it's okay and let's see what we got so we have a straight head compared to before and then after okay so now we're going to go to filter go to camera roll filter to work on the color so let's work on the color now i'm going to go ahead with the um let's start with the color so go to the color mixer and then go to the u i'm going to make this a little bit red and go to the saturation increase the red okay so we have more yeah details like that and i'm going to go to the u make this look like the orange if we take it back it's going to look yes let's make it look like the red as well and go ahead increase the saturation of that and wow so i'm going to take it up to i find it appealing to the eyes this should be ss I'm gonna leave it like this 29 should be fine and this should be okay too and for the yellows let's increase the yellows and we have it like this so I'm gonna to go to the U and bring the blues back and bring this up and bring this back go to the saturation and do the same so I believe that should be fine let's go to the curve and create an X curve take this up a little seven i'm just doing a little adjustment so as to it goes a long way making those adjustments so that's that's okay go to the basic tab increase the texture and let's work on the white bringing it down and bringing up the highlight and we have it like this just little adjustment goes a long way all right so i'm gonna it's okay after doing that and then we have our image so that's the you see what's the difference okay so now the next thing to do is to whiten the highs so i'm going to go ahead and grab the let's start try the photo filter and then i'm going to go ahead choose the cool warming filter 82 and then i'm going to invert control i to infract the mask i'm going to grab one more solid color adjustment layer doesn't matter what the color is just turn it off and then on this one, I'm going to grab the normal brush and I'm going to paint on the highs. 
So look what happens when we paint on the eyes, mix it to you know white instead and remove the color in it. Okay, so we have that, but it's not bright yet. So I'm gonna grab hold and alt and drag it above to replace the max of the color view, and I'm gonna turn that on, and there we go with this. Now, once we have that, I'm gonna go ahead to change the blending mode to divide, and once we change it to divide, it's something's well coming. So just cancel it out first, 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 first. Let's let me delete it and do it again. Okay, so now let's grab the solid color adjustment data. It's okay. Turn it off and take the in fact the mask sorry control i and let's turn it back on and grab the brush tool and let's paint i think the opacity okay it should it should it should something let me let me check something all right so i know where the problem is the the foreground color is ash okay it's ash is supposed to be black so i'm going to change it to black and white so let's make it black and Let's paint over it so we have it here good so this is what i wanted and i'm gonna do it for this and also for the lips yeah so just in case okay so now i'm gonna turn it off double click and select this color and it's okay turn it back on and there we go so now change it to divide and it's gonna be brighter very bright so I'm going to go ahead inside and take it all the way up till we have it like this and we have before and after. Okay, so it's not looking great to me and let's turn. I'm going to get rid of it then delete that method didn't work. So I'm going to turn it back on and then change it to black and white adjustment and I'm going to impact control I hold that alt to copy this layer and put it on the layer max and it's okay. and there we go with our black and white so we can adjust the blacks and the white and if that's not enough we can go ahead and you know use the solid color again i like using the solid color double click to select the color and it's okay and this time around i'm gonna invert let's drag the mask and put it over it and it's okay and then change the blend mode to divide good so we have it like this i think this work more better than the first one so i'm going to bring it down a little and there we go so i'm going to grab the brush to make its x for the foreground color the black and white adjustment select it and i'm going to remove from this place remove and remove from this place select this remove and remove from this place all right so we have our white eyes back i'm gonna group it together and we have before and after okay so if it's too much you can decrease the opacity but i think i like it like this and one more thing we can do you can dodge and burn but i think the image is looking perfect already all right so guys if you find the video helpful let me know in the comment section and share the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe once again this is how to retouch your images so for last tip what i is to add vibrance okay and sometimes i do color grading so adding vibrance to the image and then you can do some color grade using the color balance okay and add what you want to add okay so that's the post step process you're touching processing so thank you guys see you in the next video